Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, this is not going to be any other game video, okay? This is just going to be one of my story time videos, like where I record like off Roblox, like this is one of my push story time videos. I don't really do story time videos like most of the time, it's just sometimes I do, so I could explain to you guys how, what my life is and how my life is doing, so uh, yeah. So this is going to be one of my story time bits about about my about my lifetime and how things are going on in my life just want to let, let you guys know like if my if i don't really post in the wall and i come back on youtube i will probably sometimes tell you guys about what i've been doing so uh yeah so this is probably gonna be one of my backup stories uh backup stories that i still have in my head that i still remember so this is gonna be the story on how i became a roblox youtuber and what inspired me to become a roblox youtuber and also, you guys, this is also just to give you guys some advice. If you guys are having a hard time right now and people are just hitting on you, I still have some advice, okay? And trust me, guys, it's positive advice. It's not like I'm saying anything negative, okay? So, how I became a Roblox YouTuber? Well, let's start. Let's start with it. But before we go on to my story of being a Roblox YouTuber, I'm going to be doing a Season 10 Battle Pass giveaway. And yes, guys, I actually have enough Rolex to give you guys a Season 10 Battle Pass. It's not ready yet. I can only give it to one of you guys. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, okay? If you want the Season 10 Battle Pass. Only one person can claim it, okay? So make sure to subscribe right now and comment your Roblox username, okay? The winners will be chosen in the next video. Good luck. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and start my story of how I become a Roblox YouTuber. So, when I was in like 4th grade, I saw a lot of other YouTubers making roleplay bits and doing gaming bits. So my friend the tank here actually well uh showed me one of his favorite Roblox YouTubers and his username was like was Hyperplays. So on the weekend before another week of school started, I watched his videos and to be honest, it was really good. So I showed Tank one of my favorite YouTubers one of my favorite YouTubers that I used to watch was ZX Mani. If you guys don't know him, you should probably go check it out. I will link his channel in the description below and Hyper Places too. But his videos were good too. So what I did, what I did was that hey, why not make why not I make my own channel? So why not I make my own channel? Cause being a YouTuber is actually a really great job. In fact, I became one myself, as you guys all know. So yeah. It's actually really cool being a Roblox YouTuber like I am, but like yeah, it's actually really really cool. So Tank actually made his own YouTube channel like a couple of years ago, and to be honest, the channel's not it, the channel is actually doing not that bad because he has like a hundred eighty subscribers. He's not really like he is into YouTube that much. It's just like he's actually doing YouTube content. It's just that he's not been posting recently because of the stuff he's go been going on. So yeah, he will be posting a video soon enough. So you should stay tuned for that. So uh, yeah, you guys should go subscribe to Tank. He's a really good guy. And uh, yeah, he's been my friend for like a lot of years. So you should go subscribe to him. So yeah, it would really mean a lot if you guys subscribe. So uh, yeah, he hasn't been doing a lot of content recently on YouTube. He just, I guess he just took a break from YouTube, to be honest. And then maybe, and then one time we were in the Discord call, he did say that he will be posting another video, like a couple of days. So I will be checking that out, and you guys should too. So, uh, since Tank decided, Tank decided his own YouTube channel before I did, I was like, hey, why not make, why not I make my own YouTube channel too? So. That was the day that I decided to start my own YouTube channel. So it became, so when I was in fourth grade, so when I was in fourth grade and I was done with school that day, well not really like done with school because the school year wasn't over yet. So on May 25th, 2022, that was the day that I actually started my own YouTube channel. So when I got onto YouTube, I started to click on make my own channel because a lot, what am I? All of my favorite YouTubers make Roblox channels, and I was like, "Hey, why not I make my own too?" So you know, so you know, technically, I started my own channel, and my first name that I made my channel was Enolux One Two One. That was my display name, my main name, 
and then one of my first videos on my channel was that uh my first video on on playing Roblox in high school I think like I actually remember what it is I actually remember what it is uh yeah so one of my first videos the very first one I uploaded to my channel was like uh like the first video I uploaded to my channel was Ian plays Roblox in high school and I said this was my first video and yeah and when I checked on the views I noticed I was not getting some good views okay it's because I didn't have that much subscribers I only had like zero subscribers on my channel so yeah I technically started on my channel that day so so when I was in so when I was uh on the weekend in a new grade at my new school my dad notices my YouTube channel and he was very proud of me. He was very proud of me. So on Christmas on 2022, I opened my gifts and my dad made a new PC for me so that I can record and edit my videos and I can do some gameplay on it. And it really meant a lot to me. So W dad, not gonna lie. And when I used and when I got used my PC for the first time, I was already watching my favorite anime, Naruto. And yeah, I was watching Naruto because it's like one of my favorite animes to like watch. And then I made my and I made a lot of live streams on my on my PC and a lot of new videos on PC too, gaining a lot of views in 2023 and in 2024. So before, and also I was doing. Go anime videos. If you guys don't know what Go Anime is, it's technically like a website where you can make your own anime animation videos and stuff like that. So yeah, I actually used to do Go. So I actually used to do like Go Animate videos a lot, but not anymore because I quit you making Go Animate. I just feel very boring for me because all I'm literally doing on Go Animate is literally making characters. And then just like making it into like a real story, even though it's not actually happening in real life. I found it very boring to me. Honestly, though, it was a good, pretty good run on doing it. I just don't feel like it's my type of style making videos on like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, yeah. And when I make live streams, that's when I noticed you guys. Yes, I'm talking about you guys uh, known as the Dynamite Society as my fans. So, when I started making live streams... Some some uh some of my fans were actually in the live stream. They were supporting me all the way. And I really, really appreciate that. So it you guys are the OGs that are watching me right now. Uh thank you so much for supporting me all the way. I knew you can support me through my journey of being a YouTuber. It really means the world to me. And you guys can subscribe right now if you're watching this right now, because it would really mean a lot. I'm trying to get to two K subs. And it will, and it will really mean a lot if you guys do. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. And once I started getting like a lot of subscribers, that was the day I actually met Brando Robloxer. So when I had around like seven hundred subscribers, uh, I was live streaming Bed Wars right on December twenty second of twenty twenty three. Uh, that was the day I met Brando Robloxer. If you guys don't know who he is, he recently hit 40 subs a couple of days ago. So you should go subscribe to him. He's a W man, Brandon Gang on top. And he said he, it was his dream becoming friends with a real YouTuber like me. So in order to make his dream possible, of course, I had to say yes. Because I wanted to make his dream possible. So I became his friend, his YouTuber friend. And we, and we started making collab videos with each other. We made collab videos on Bed Wars and a pr and pretty much other games as well. And he also made videos about me thanking me and all that. So yeah. So yeah, he also made videos about me on his other channel. He also made videos about me on his other channel saying that I did a really good job on helping him all the way. And to be honest, it was a really good run with him. It was a really good run with him working on working on, on our collab stuff, you know. It was a really good run. I really, I really uh, was proud of him that I helped him a lot and and helping him grow and helping him grow his channel. I hope Brando, I hope Brando goes to the top one day because Brando getting on top and it's never gonna stop. And also Dynamite Society on top.
So make sure you guys do not forget that Brandon Games on top and my Dynamite Society on top. So yeah, that was the day I met Brandon on my live stream. And he was a really W man on that live stream. Cause it was his dream. Like I know I already said this, but like it was his dream to like become become friends with a famous YouTuber like me. So of course I had to make that dream come true. And once I started making collabs videos with him, he gained like some subscribers, which I'm really proud of him for doing that. And yeah, that is just my history with Brandon Robloxer. And before I met Brandon Robloxer, I met up with Team Tank. By the way, if you guys don't know who Team Tank is, uh, we used to be at the same school. We used to be at the same school. Uh, one time, we used to be at the same school. One time, we were making like collab videos with each other. It was really fun before I met Randall Bloxer, and we were doing collab videos. Like, you know how it goes? Yeah, it was really fun that day. So, yeah, that was actually really cool. But this is the part where you guys are not going to like, yes, guys, I'm talking about my hater. So, if you guys have been watching my YouTube videos and live streams recently, you guys might have known my hater, which is, uh, well, Louis XX Pro. If you guys don't know who Louis XX Pro is, uh, he's actually one of my haters, and he's saying that I'm bad and literally I'm trash. I mean, he sometimes does tree stumping on my channel. Like, to be honest, I don't really mind, but when it comes way too far with the tree stumping and saying I'm bad, that's like the part where it gets way too far so yeah so yeah uh that's where the part it became way too far and the chat was getting mad at him even i got mad at him and yeah i mean i don't really mind the shoots i mean louise but like when it comes to this taking way too far then it's taking way too far like you know what i mean so like yeah but honestly, I don't really care if he has a stream snipe, bro. I'm still going to complete my journey as a famous YouTuber. And you know, I'm not going to stop with the Dynamite Society. Because the Dynamite Society is on top and Brando King on top. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, guys. Uh, thanks so much for subscribing to me and Brando. Subscribe to Team Tank as well. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it was an awesome journey of doing YouTube. I'm don't. I'm not saying I like I'm quitting, okay? Cause if I did say I was quitting, that would be an April Fool's joke. So like, yeah. So like, yeah. I just want to talk to you guys about my journey, about my journey, on what I've been doing, what I've been doing for like my YouTube journey, and uh, yeah, it's been a really good run. It's really, really good about doing this. By the way, if you guys think about giving up on your dreams, please don't do that, okay? Because if we start off by failure, it may help us go to success. So technically what I'm saying is that if if you fail once, then do it over and over again. That's technically like the process of moving forward from your mistakes and trying to make it into a, a better version of yourself. So please do not give up on your dreams. If you want to be a YouTuber just like me, then I would suggest doing it instead of not giving up. If people say to just give up, don't listen to them, they're in the wrong for doing that. So, there's really one person that can stop, uh, uh, guys, be right back, be right back. Sorry, sorry about the, sorry about the wait, okay, I was literally doing something. But, uh, anyways, uh, just to let you know, guys, that if you guys decide you guys should quit, then you're wrong, okay? Like, never quit on your goals and dreams. If I believe in my dreams, then I believe you guys can too, okay? So, whatever you do, never give up on your dreams. It's failure with first, then success after.
Alright guys, so sorry about so sorry about that. Uh but so anyways, I believe that you guys can achieve your dreams, okay? Because if I can do it then you can do it too. But anyways boys, that's gonna be it for today's video. And uh if you guys enjoyed Always make sure to leave a like and subscribe, okay? It really helped out a lot, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.